Hey guys, I'm Leanna Vamp and you're watching That Hashtag Show. What's up guys, I'm Jessica and we are here with That Hashtag Show and That Hashtag News Feed. This is Joe and Dupree. Joe, what are you excited about today? I'm going to be talking to some Power Rangers, so that's going to be pretty awesome. And Dupree? Um, I'm going to be cosplaying as Darth Vader and I'm excited about the True Blood panel. Right on, let's get weird. Let's do it. Guys, I'm here with the legendary Kevin Conroy. Kevin, how you doing? Good to meet you. Oh, God, that voice just melted me like butter. <laughs> uh, That's the idea. It, oh, all this talk about all the sort of, like, like Bat Batman's really hit like a renaissance within the past 10 years or so. And people always choose who their favorite is. It always comes back to Kevin Conroy. Seriously? It sure does. That's Have great. you been on the internet before? <laughs> so what was your experience working on Doctor Who? Doctor Who was crazy. It was really fun, and it was re the uh, the sets are outrageous. They're beautiful. So we had and and I, I wore this coat. This if I have that picture, Elijah. I wore this costume oh, that's beautiful. and this jacket weighed 40 pounds. Yes, can you believe it? It was like going to the gym to get dressed. Oh my God, would you ever come back as the master? I would love to. All they have to do is ask me. I have a question for you. Since we're here at Stan Lee's Kamikaze, how has Stan Lee influenced your career? Well, Stan Lee and I go back about 50 years. Uh, I am a distinguished uh, graduate of Yale University. And other than uh, hallucinogenic drugs uh, at Yale, I discovered Marvel Comics. What does this convention smell like? Thankfully not cheese. Yeah, so I'm black megaforce and green super megaforce. I had that backwards. Yeah, you know, it, it's confusing. And, and you know, they, they wanted an explanation, but Gosei didn't really give us an explanation. And you want to go back to Dino Charge? Oh, I would love to go back so bad. I've been talking to them, so fingers crossed. Have you really? Yeah. That's like inside information. Oh, well, oops. Let me ask you a question. OK, so, um. Out of all the Power Rangers, who's the hottest? Girls. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, Dana from Lightspeed Rescue, Ciara Hanna from uh, Super Mega Force. It's really hot. I think yeah, that's right. Um, and what was who was the cook in our show? Uh, that would be the Pink Ranger Mia. It's pretty good. So we're at Stan Lee's Kamikaze. That's right. um, has uh, have you Stan Lee ever like influenced anything that you've done, or or uh, you, you know you have, have any special a windbreaker reference? that's very similar to the one that he wears? He has he's a, got a good windbreaker game. I mean, I feel like it's like at Hugh Hefter's house with just like pajamas through the whole thing. It's just like tan windbreaker, beige windbreaker, taupe windbreaker. It's a sand, sand colored yeah. windbreaker. I've seen the sand one. Uh, nicotine colored windbreaker. Uh, vitamin yellow, multivitamin yellow windbreaker. Especially in that stormtrooper outfit, man. That's Thank like you. probably one of the sexiest stormtroopers I have Thank ever you. seen. Next year, Boba Fett, though. Like, I, that's, that's I love comparison. that costume. I'm completely covered from like neck to toe. And you're still and sexy. It's awesome, except I have some wounds today from it. It was a little. It's, it was. I was in it way longer than I thought, but you know, it was fun. And I'm a stormtrooper, so whatever. I don't even care. Stormtrooper like, heart. I could be bleeding underneath, and I wouldn't even mind. That's fantastic. That's, That's awesome. The, the things we do, right? Yeah. For cosplay. I'm here with Jason from the Marvel Experience. First of all, I want to ask you, what is the Marvel Experience? It's really hard to put into one sentence, but uh, the best way I can define it is it's a blow your senses out, first person experience that is not only virtual, not only interactive, not only engaging, but a unique experience you're not going to find anywhere else on this planet.
guys, I'm here with Andrew with Ink Whiskey with their new product called Entertainment Flask. Andrew, tell us a little bit about these bad boys because I'm not even going to embarrass myself and tell you what I thought these were. So what we've done is we've made a flask modeled after the original NAS cartridge. Um, it holds four ounces. Uh, it's ABS polymer, BPA free. Um, we've got right now six different uh, parody art labels. Um, we're coming out actually with five more. Uh, we're going to release what they are a day at a time uh, right after this convention, so starting November 2nd. Uh, what do we got? What can we see in the future for, for a comic book? I'm going to give you some teasers. Uh, you're going to see an ice cream truck. You're going to see a drag race. You're going to see... Like drag queens foot racing? No, that would be cool Wouldn't too. that be great? That's season five. Season five, all drag races. Rickshaws. Rickshaw drag oh. races. How awesome will that be? Loot Crate is a Geek and Gamer subscription box. It's about $20 a month. And we really try to incorporate um, collectibles, t-shirts, um, figures, any kind of things that people think that you would get at Comic-Con, swag. Brave Frontier, yeah, it's been out for a year. Um, it's a turn-based RPG available on uh, iOS and Android. Um, there's about 200 different characters that you can choose from, um, and you can evolve them too. So um, there's kind of a little, you know, Pokemon aspect to that as well. Well, Kamikaze 2014 has come to an end, and we had a great time, did we not? It was awesome. I had a great time here. Absolutely. Alicia looked amazing in her outfit. On very, very good. good. And guys, I have a little surprise for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you say we uh, cling plastic and uh, I like ooh, this. I like this. Get idea. a little drink on. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up. Not bad. Ah.